So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartrand can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. How do you plan an expedition into the deep roads without knowing a way in? We need an entrance that's close to our destination, but isn't already plundered or filled with darkspawn. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. Why would a Grey Warden know that? The Wardens don't just fight Darkspawn. They forge into the Deep Roads all the time. And if he doesn't know, he might be able to point us to those who do. Are there any other options? <sighs> None at the moment. Bartrand had an entrance lined up, but it was a bust. I'll keep looking, but if we don't find something, we'll have a fancy expedition with nowhere to go. We may need to wring it out of him. Wardens can be secretive. Uh, let's look at our options first. I'd rather not fight a Warden unless we have to. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A Lowtown woman named Lorene has been helping the Ferelden's. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts, see if I can drum up any other work. If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of slew the Archdemon to save us all. Fat lot they care here. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a Warden? The Healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A Warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. Where is this healer? You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. And yet he needs to hide. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. You mean he's a mage? Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? We would never turn someone over to the Templars, mistress. Never. He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. I wouldn't worry so much about his safety. Worry about yours. Don't you threaten me. You think we're strangers to violence after the Blight? Any Ferelden in the city would lay down his life for the healer after what he's done for us. Still, I suppose you can seek him out. Anders certainly hasn't turned anyone else away. Look for the lit lantern in Darktown. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. Hey, we heard you in there, asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town. And it ain't gonna happen to him. Don't question me. Let's show these folks a little Ferelden and justice. <laughs> this place a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? I want to know about the deep roads. Did the warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Poor Sir Pounce a lot. He hated the deep roads. You had a cat named Sir Pounce a lot in the deep roads. He was a gift. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Drew blood, too. The blighted warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. 
So, you came to Kirkwall just to escape the Wardens? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes. I'm here because there's no Warden outpost, no Darkspawn, and a whole host of refugees to blend in with. And some reasons of my own. I've always heard that joining the Wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the Darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the Archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out, if you hide well, you don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. I need to know how to get into the Deep Roads. You can tell me, willingly or not. Don't threaten me, boy. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested in... Although... A favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Help my expedition reach the Deep Roads, and I'll do whatever you need. You don't ask for my terms. What if I were asking for the Knight Commander's head on a spike? Is that what you ask? You decide. I have a Warden map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. You want to make your friend an apostate? That's such a weighted term. Yes, Andraste said magic should serve man, not rule him. But I've yet to find a mage who wants to rule anything. It goes against no will of the Maker for mages to live as free as other men. Mages fall to demons. The Chantry can't trust them with the same freedoms as normal men. And who are you to decide that how the Maker created me isn't normal? Now, will you aid me or no? What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. I will not make this deal sight unseen. It's all right here. But you don't see one page until Carl is free. As just as his cause is, it scares me. I don't want to give the Templars another reason to hunt us. These are my terms. If you want my aid with your expedition, meet me in the Chantry tonight. I have sent word to Carl to be there. Make a willing. We will all leave free men. I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be... made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. This is the apostate. Take another mage as you took him! I... Anders, what did you do? It's like... You brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. This bastard ratted you out to the Templars. He wasn't himself. Being made tranquil takes away everything human inside you. He wasn't capable of caring for me anymore. He could only follow the rules. You cannot imagine it, Anders. All the color, all the music in the world, gone. I would gladly give up my magic. But this... I'll never be whole again. This is what Mother was protecting me from. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. 
Carl, no! Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. My sister calls being tranquil a fate worse than death. Give him peace. I got here too late. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm so sorry. Now! It's fading! Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. We should leave before more Templars come. Talk. What happened to you in the Chantry? I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthine, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends. And he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. Just say whatever you have to say. To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the Circle. But... I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he... changed. So, you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. I just need your Grey Warden expertise, not a diatribe on your strange personal habits. Here. These are all the documents I have for this area. I can understand if you would rather me not join you personally. I cannot control my need for vengeance. I would ask no one to take on the danger of traveling with me. I will be here in my clinic if you need me.